Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video I'm going to show you how to set up notification on Proxmox using Gotify. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is Gotify? Okay, so if you go to the main website which is gotify.net so actually the name comes from Go because it's written with the Go language and Defy from the notification I guess, okay? So here as you can see Gotify is a simple server for sending and receiving messages, okay? So it's free and open source as you can see here, it's under the MIT license and it's very easy to deploy using for example Docker but you can also also install it using the different platforms okay so here i'll be using the most uh, simple way to install it on my linux uh, server using just docker so you must actually install docker which is pretty easy to do under ubuntu okay so of course you can take a look at the documentation here so you get some documentation about how actually it works and if you go to the installation section you can see how you can install it using docker so here actually we'll be using this command line here in order to install it okay so let's go actually to my proxmox and try to install gotify using docker okay so here we go so i'll choose random uh, actually lxc machine for example this one I will go to the my console and I will use this command here which is pretty easy of course docker is already installed so here I'm mapping the port 80 to local port 8087 okay with this uh, just command you can launch Gotify okay so let's launch this command and see what we get so of course if the image is not downloaded it will be downloaded from the repository okay so here as you can see it's running so let's uh, open it using our web browser in another tab okay and of course i'll be using here the ip address of my uh, lxc container which is 192.168.1.107 and the port as you can see here is 8087 so let's do that so here we go so this is actually the main interface and the default username is admin admin so me I already entered that that's why it will gives me that okay so in order to configure it on Proxmox it's pretty easy so I will show you how you can do that so first thing first you have to click on this apps here and create a new application on your running gotify server so i'll create an application here we go and here you will give it whatever name you want so let's call it proxmox and here of course you can enter the default priority if you have uh, actually a lot of applications but me I have already just one so I'll just skip with the default priority which is zero here we go so now my application has been created and the most important here that we have to copy is this token here so this token this is the token I'll be using in order to enter it on our Proxmox in order to activate the notification on Proxmox okay so let's copy this token here here we go and I will move back to our Proxmox so in order to do that on Proxmox you have to click on your data center on Proxmox and you go to the bottom on the left panel here you will see there is a section dedicated to notifications so I will click on it notifications and for the notification targets I have here by default the mail 
to a route which is using uh, sandman but i can add if i click on this arrow here i can add as you can see gotify sandman and smtp so of course me i have the token for gotify so i will click on gotify and here i will enter the end name so which is in my case gotify here we go and of course I have to enable it for the server URL so make sure to enter the IP address of your server which HTTP column dash dash and the IP address on the server where you have installed Gotify so for me it was 107 and of course the port number which is 8087 on my case because I use docker to change it from 80 to 80, 87 but you can keep 80 if you want and of course here you have to paste your token that we have copied from our server here we go so everything looks good so I will just add this notification target okay so now everything is good so let's test that so in order to test it you have to click on the line where is uh, gotify and you click on test so do you want to send uh, a test notification to gotify so i will say yes and hopefully the notification has been sent so as you can see here so let's move on to our server interface and see if i get something so i will click on all messages and indeed i get a test notification from our Proxmo server which is actually successful so now let's finish the notification setup on our Proxmox so let's go back to our Proxmox now that we know that the, the server Gotify is working good I have also to enable something here for the notification matchers so i will click on this link here by default i will modify it and make sure to target to notify that gotify is enabled if not enabled you will not get notification if you do something on your proxmox so you should enable it on the target to notify okay so now i guess everything is okay so now let's test our notification server so for example let's try to just to run for example a backup and see if we get notification on our interface so let's choose a server for example the speed test server I will go to the backup and I will try to backup now and here as you can see for the notification mode is set up to auto and hopefully we will get actually a notification on this interface here when the backup has finished so let's do that and verify it so let's do a backup now here we go and let's wait for the backup to finish and see if indeed we get a notification on our server so almost done here Here we go i guess the task is okay so we actually the backup has finished so let's return back to our uh, notification center and indeed you can see that i get a notification for the backup with all the details for this backup so we have our first notification which was a test notification at the bottom and the new one at the top so here we have all actually the notifications from the backup that we have performed using proxmox so you can use this gotify as central messages for all the thing that you can do actually on your proxmox and of course as you have seen on the site you can also install it on your mobile phone if you have an android phone you can install this application gotify and get the notification on your mobile phone but for that you have to have actually domain name registered with your proxmox okay 
So that was just a brief video to show you how to uh, set up this simple server for sending and receiving messages called Gotify. Okay. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any further content. And of course, if you have any suggestions for future video, drop them in the comments below. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.